I am Giuseppe Bengasi and I'm a chemist with a strong interest for materials and their applications. I'm happy to receive the FNR award for an outstanding PhD thesis for the research work that I did at the Luxembourg Institute of Science and Technology in collaboration with the University of Mainz. I worked on uh, porphyrins, which is a chemical compound which is extremely spread in nature. And for example, it plays a key role in the photosynthesis of plants or uh, in the respirations for humans. This is related to their unique chemical and physical properties. And more interestingly, if you can form a chain out of porphyrin units, you obtain a completely new compound with amazing electrical and chemical properties. For example, single porphyrin units are an insulant, while long chains of porphyrins are instead an highly conductive materials. To make a comparison, it is like bricks. There is not that much that you can do with a single brick, but with a lot of bricks, you can make a very strong wall. We call these long chains of porphyrins porphyrin tapes, uh, and they were already discovered in the early 2000s. Unfortunately, these porphyrin tapes are insoluble in the most common organic solvents, so it was not possible to make a thin films required to make a device or an application out of this material. In my PhD, we invented the process that allowed, uh, for the first time, to make thin films of conductive porphyrin tapes. And uh, it allowed to make the process on uh, sensitive and flexible substrate, such as paper or plastics. And thanks to this, we could make two prototypes incorporating such films. A device that can produce clean hydrogen out of solar light or electricity, and a sensor for ammonia that can be used industrially. We circumvented the insolubility of porphyrin tapes, simply making it directly from the gas phase. As I like to say, we found an engineering solution to a chemical problem. And we were also able to control the physical properties of the material with simple chemical modification on the porphyrin rings. This process can be also quite easily be at scale industrially. And for this reason, we filed two patents to protect both the methods and the materials. We moved from a simple idea to a device manufacturing process. The likely next steps are to optimize the materials and to produce demonstrators for the final end users. My work also paved the way for a bigger project at least that involves the transformation of uh, solar lights into clean hydrogen. I am very proud that this work could help in the future to bring some new green and renewable energy.